Well, we are back. Hold on, let me see if my wave's coming in. Wave check, wave check. <clears throat> Yo, that boy Takashi69 is back in the news. And this time it is for his lady, Yalin, you know what I'm saying? Ellen Wells, baby mama. She was busting that boy up. She had the two by four out. You know, Jim you know what I'm saying? She was going ham on a Bentley and Takashi and True 69 fashion called the police. Hello, 911. That's right, man. He got his girl locked up. To me, it seems like he videotaped all this stuff. He had all this evidence against her just to use it against her, just so, just so he could make that play on her, just to get her locked up. Cause it seems like maybe she has something against him. Maybe she's gonna say like, hey, you know, maybe she maybe she was gonna come out and say like, he was abusing her or he did this or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case is. But he had his proof. And when she got in that situation where she was going crazy on him, that's when he dropped a bomb on her. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Had that go to jail pass. <laughs> Yo, but to me, it seems like this chick is highly intoxicated. And, you know, I'm pretty sure he met her like that, where it's just like, you know, that party life, this Ann Wells baby mama. She's living her life. She's out there partying. And this 6 9 he's about to snitch. You do something to him, he's definitely about to snitch on you. So, yeah. She busted up his Bentley. She was trying to get him with that two by four. Allegedly, this is what happened. She wanted her documents. She wanted her passport back. She wanted her money. And he didn't want to let her go. He didn't want to let her passport go. And she flipped out and went ham on him. But this was just one occasion. This looks like it happened like multiple times. But to me, it looks like she's intoxicated each time. Maybe I'm wrong. But from the videos that he shows, she definitely looks a little bit impaired. X9 definitely built up a case against her. He definitely had footage. He definitely had pictures. He definitely had evidence. And it wasn't just from one video. He had multiple videos of her doing it. And he was trying to play in the background like, oh, no, no, look what she's doing. Look what she's doing to me. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. You know, he's trying to, like, play the innocent guy. And it seems like... It seems like they're the blue face in Krishan Rock where they're just beating each other up. He come here! This time, he won because he had the proof against her. Maybe she's not videotaping this stuff. Maybe she's not documenting whatever he's doing to her. But like I said, it seemed like she was going to drop a bomb on him and say something about something. And he was like, hold up, dog. You did this to me, so you gotta go. And in true toxic relationship fashion, that boy 6ix9ine, after he got her locked up, he pulled up to the courthouse to bail her out. I'm pretty sure that bright car with the purple, yellow, and pink colors on it was his. But yeah, so she's out of jail. I'm pretty sure they're back together. He's back buying her Birkin bags. Know how this thing goes. But yeah, wish them well. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's your boy Mark Watts. Major hits promo. We out.